Good morning, everybody. There's our green light. Let me go post the link onto the website. Website is mammothgardens.com. And it has all the sheet music and our weekly schedule and archive of all the videos we've done and a full harmonica library of ensemble harmonica. So let me put the link up there on the site. This particular WordPress theme I have is resistant to scrolling properly, so it's harder than it needs to be. And we hit update and update. And patiently wait, and then I view the post. And theoretically, then everybody will be able to swing by, come in here. Today, we will be playing. Uh, uh, when the Saints Go Marching In, super fun song. Aloha Oi, which is a Hawaiian song. And then uh, we have a brand new arrangement, Fly Me to the Moon, uh, which we get to play in two different octaves, which will be sort of fun. And uh, so that's what we're doing today. Uh, let me run over to our Twitter and post this over there. Uh, let's see. H. TTPS colon colon slash slash mammoth gardens dot com. Mm -hmm. right, there's our harmonica girl. And then when we add on our, <laughs> our harmonica girl, how old, how old am I? Uh, let's put on the uh, move your face, not your hands. Move your hands, not your face. And then hit tweet. And there we go. We are now on Twitter, so we're super famous. And uh, that's what we got to go. Uh, it's 11.06. Uh, let's wait a minute or two to let everybody get settled in here. I have both the heater and the uh, uh, humidor on, so <laughs> it probably sounds like I'm sitting in a wind tunnel from your uh, vantage point. I also had to crank up the gain just a little bit. Diane said yesterday she couldn't hear my voice very well, and so I cranked up the gain on the microphones just a little bit to hopefully make uh, push a little more sound over in your direction. Hopefully it didn't turn, doesn't turn me into a robot sound, but... Uh, that's what I did. Uh, Sandy is here. Good afternoon. Sound is good. And the sun is out. 55 degrees out there. All right. Michigan is finally <laughs> coming around. Uh, sounds like you're having better weather than I'm having here, Sandy. We're going to get to 50 today, uh, but it's still pretty hazy and cloudy out there. We had snow overnight. So uh, sounds like Michigan is winning this morning, Sandy. Uh, good to see that. Let's see. Um... Let me pull up my sheet music that I need. Got to get out of this folder and move over to the harmonica folder. And uh, let's get going on that. All right. Let's see. I don't know where everybody is today. They're probably getting running a little slow. So uh, Sandy and I are going to play, and we'll see if anybody else shows up. When the Saints go marching in. Let's grab that. Uh, when the Saints Go Marching In, it's uh, written in 4-4 uh, four, four time. So we count in four, but there's a one-beat rest at the beginning. And a lot of times when you have a one-beat rest at the beginning of the song, you don't do the four-beat count in plus the rest. Um, a lot of times you just do one. Oh, when the Saints. But it's hard to really get a sense of the timing that way. So I always like to count in all four of the count in plus the rest. Uh, we play this through two times. And uh, you can, it's set up to be played four times through, right? We'll go marching in. Um, uh, yeah, because the first, the first one is, Oh Lord, I want to be in that number. Oh Lord, I want to be in that number. The third time through is, I'm going to sing as loud as thunder. Oh Lord, I want to be in that number. So um, there's not a ton of uh, lyrics in this thing. Just a uh, pretty cool, pretty cool music. <laughs> uh, good morning, Connie. She's in from Denver. Evelyn in from Cuenca. 69 degrees and partly cloudy. Perfect day down there. And Marsha's in. Good morning, Marsha. All right, guys. Uh, let's get started. When the Saints go marching in. Uh, blow four. Four beat counting plus a rest. Two times through. One, two, three. Three, four, rest.
that's a fun song, man. <laughs> I really, every time I'm done with it, I'm like, I want to keep playing that for a while. That's a, that's a fun one. Uh, Diane made it in. She's got workers in her house. Um, um, have them sit down and pl play a little harmonica with you, Diane. And uh, Pauline is here. Good morning. Um, Pauline is here. She probably, Pauline and everyone are like, I don't, I don't know. We did uh, uh, a pretty hard song in guitar today. <laughs> and uh, Pauline for sure is probably thinking, I, 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 I don't really know if I want to keep going on guitar. So, so luckily we're here. We have this one a little bit, a little bit easier to get along with instrument. Uh, the uh, well, that's not necessarily true, right? When you're playing your harmonica and you got to get a nine and no sound is coming out. <laughs> Uh, that that has happened to you, right? Uh, then it can be the most frustrating thing in the world. You're like, I know I'm blowing into the right hole, and there's no sound coming out. What is going on? How do I fix this in the moment, right? Uh, so this this is turns out this is a, a um, I think this is the funnest instrument in the world to get started on, and I think it can be a particularly frustrating instrument to get any good at, and I've been at this, I haven't, pl I haven't played it seriously until starting in August when we decided we'd do some classes on it, um, and so now I'm kind of serious about it, and I am amazed at how resistant it is to cooperating. <laughs> it's like, well, I, uh, I, uh, gonna let you make some noise it may or may not be good noise and so yeah it's it's fun uh let's see uh, sandy says i did my scales too <laughs> all right sandy is totally in on this this whole activity um we're gonna i'm gonna have sandy start teaching the class honestly uh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah every time you have a worker come in the house you're like hey i got an idea for you sit down i want to talk to you about a few things <laughs> uh, uh, Right, have one of these uh, the, the, those folk masters that are on there at twenty bucks. Uh, keep a couple around. You meet somebody who who they're like, oh, I always wanted to learn to play harmonica. Boom, Psh, sit them down. Give me twenty bucks. <laughs> Let's see. Pauline says there was a recent Neil Young sighting, and I remember he played our arm guard. He did, Neil Young does right. A lot of those kind of grungy rock and rollers. Bob Dylan, Neil Young, um, a lot of those guys mess around with this, right? That it's something I'm actually sort of surprised when I go, like, you know, I'm doing harmonica research quite a bit right now. And I'm like, oh, yeah, they did do that. Oh, yeah, that guy did do that. Oh, yeah, that was in that. And, and how it's sort of surprising how this little instrument is sort of shows up a lot more than you remember it until you're until you start working on it, right? <laughs> Sandy's out. She's like, no, I don't. I know. I don't need to be. I don't. I'm not going to be the guest teacher. <laughs> uh, well, let me know, Sandy. There's tons of money in this field. Um, um, it goes the other direction, of course, but there is tons of money in it. Um, uh, yeah. So there we go. Goofing off today. Let's grab our uh, scales. Uh, all right. So what we talked yesterday, and uh, not all of you were here. Probably all of you were here. I don't know. Some of you were here. Some of you were not. Um, tomorrow, uh, we'll do our Friday concert like always. But beginning Monday, we're going to make some uh, minor adjustments to our weekly schedule. So, so next week, um, we will have the usual how to play harmonica. Oh, oh, wait. Urgh! I won't be here Monday. Uh, probably. No, I won't be here Monday. Just plan on not being here Monday. On Monday, I, on Sunday, I'm getting my vaccine, and I'm just assuming <laughs> on Monday I'm going to feel crummy. And so if, uh, if I feel crummy and I... If I feel fine, I'm gonna get the. I'm gonna put some more security features on our websites so that they're just a little bit more secure. Um, uh, and if I feel crummy, I may not even do that. And so we for sure will not be here on Monday. We may be here on Tuesday. I will send you guys out an email. Make sure you're on. You've you've turned in a. a, a if you've gotten an email from me before, you're on the list. Don't worry about it. If you've never gotten an email from me, but you've turned in your name, you might be. It might be going to your spam box. Um, and uh, you know, I always delete people very quickly if they're like, you know, I don't want to be on this email anymore. I get them off there as quickly as I can, so we kind of minimize the the spam ranking that we have. But um, I only want you on the email list if you really want to be on the email list. And so. Um, uh, 
and it's also very easy to unsubscribe from that email list in any event you should have i should have your email address if i and you should be fine if you've never gotten an email from me you might want to run over the website and just stick your email on there it's right on the top up there um and then i will tell you whether we're going to have class on tuesday or not um in any event our typical schedule going forward is going to be on mondays uh, we're going to have the harmonica the mini harmonica lesson how to play lesson and then we're going to do our scales on monday as well so on monday we'll continue to just have one song we'll have kumbaya we will have one diatonic and one chromatic song uh, and then we're going to do both scales the diatonic and the chromatic scale okay that's how monday will look Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, we're going to drop scales. We're not going to do scales on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday anymore. We're just going to have, uh, we'll do Ode to Joy. We'll do two diatonic and two chromatic. Uh, or if we get to the point where like uh, the diatonics are coming around too much, we may do one diatonic and three chromatic, but well, probably not. I think we'll probably stick with two diatonic because especially if you're new and you're coming in and you only have a diatonic, uh, it seems fair that you we'd have two diatonics and two chromatics on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then on Friday, again, no Friday we'll do what we've always been doing. You are my sunshine plus all of the songs from the week is how we will do that. Um, all that's going to mean is that the diatonic songs are going to rotate through pretty quickly um, and we'll end up having to having getting to play them more often um, and the chromatic ones uh, it's not so they're rotating through a little more quickly than I'd like but it's only because I just haven't taken time to tab out some more of them I have plenty <laughs> of good world-class uh, chromatic songs coming your way um, and it's just a matter of finding time to sit down and type them out so um, and they're e you know relative easy I figured out a system that they're much faster than I used to use to get them done so um, um, I, I know I can get you a couple hundred of those easy so um, so we'll get those going as well and then so that will be the new plan for now and that'll probably carry on into the summer when we get to the summer I'm gonna look at my schedule mostly for, uh, start noodling it around so that I, I can survive into the fall and uh, we may end up having to switch time slots and that sort of stuff but I haven't got any of that figured out quite yet um, so that's gonna be the new plan and thank you guys for participating in that and um, um, yeah, and so that will be the be the overall plan uh, going forward. Um, let's see, Marsha says, not Monday. Yeah, we're not meeting Monday. Not meeting Monday for sure. And we, and depending on how Monday goes with me, if I'm if I'm feeling fine, I'll get all my work done in terms of updating the website architecture, uh, and uh, then we'll meet on Tuesday. If I feel horrible on Monday, I won't get any of that done, and it will, we'll also miss Tuesday. But I'll let you know one way or the other via email. And then just obviously check the website. And you guys are independent at this point. For almost all of you are a good, solid harmonic players you've been around long enough now where if I'm not here and you're like oh thank god I don't gotta listen to that guy today so uh, that will be that will be our plan going forward all right uh, let's grab your uh, chromatic or your diatonic scales and um, let's play through that this will uh, actually um, be the swan song of playing them uh, during the week um, and I, I was thinking about this because it's really been on my mind that Diane said um, I, I, I wasn't playing fast enough for those guys and I and I and I have t since coached Diane I'm like Diane when you're the s singer you're in charge okay <laughs> that's why they wear lipstick and have crazy hairdos because they're in charge um, and the rest of the band has to f uh, fall in line but it also her point is hey I wasn't playing fast enough for them I'd like to be able to play faster that's the unwritten rule so what I want to do today I want to play C major scale one time through regular and then we're gonna go back through we're gonna play one time with the meows and then we're gonna play one time through kind of fast okay so we're gonna start pushing the speed on this all right from the top regular meow fast one two three four
okay? And then as you're practicing on your own, see if you can get even faster. Okay, obviously too fast for me, right? So that's another way to get fast is get where you um, practice just pushing it, just pushing the tempo. You'll make a lot more mistakes, but it's probably worth um, the, the net result, which is, hey, I'm going to get comfortable reading faster. Um, all right, A minor scale. Um, hey, Don. <laughs> Don. Don, you missed my whole story about how we were celebrating how awesome you are. Um, uh, the A minor scale, let's do that one. Um, same thing. Uh, well, we, did, well you know, we can't really do meows on the A minor scale. So let's do A minor scale slow, and then let's push the tempo. One, two, three, four. that <laughs> actually pulled that one off um, yeah so uh, again in your own personal practice take time you know go through play things beautifully and perfect the way they're supposed to be and then go back through and just push the tempo you know you're gonna make more mistakes the sound quality probably tends to drop just a smidge um, and um, what will happen is you'll get comfortable playing at those faster speeds and then and then your mistakes will go down and your tone will come up <laughs> theoretically theoretically let's go play aloha oi <laughs> the only note on here is add chromatic all right so it is on the upper end of the upper end of the scale and those of you guys that have gotten your G harmonicas, you probably want to want to play this one with that G harmonica. Um, let's play it through and see if we really need to add the chromatic. Uh, Martius is fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is fun, right? It's You make a lot more mistakes, but uh, I do know when you're learning a song you play it as slow as you can to make it sound good and then you and then once you get comfy you just start easing the speed up just a little bit at a time um, but if you listen to the real pros and the guys that are really killing it on harmonia they're playing fast right and they didn't start fast they started slow learned the song and then built their speed up until it got faster the other thing as you get to be a more accomplished harmonica player obviously the speed is e easier to get to more quickly because you just get better at it all right aloha oi this is not meant to be fast so you notice quarter note equals 80 that's nice and slow so we'll take our time it's two times through and uh get your elvis on and this was written by a real queen of hawaii but uh yeah, but think elvis and you'll get it one two three
a tough that's a tough one grab your G harmonicas if you have one grab your G harmonicas let's play through it one time on a G harmonica um, and I think it I think it'll, it'll it'll sell you a G harmonica if you don't have one <laughs> uh -oh. grab your G harmonicas real quick um, it's a beautiful song, right? But on a C harmonica, boy, you're, you're, well, one, it's kind of a hard song to play to begin with, because um, the the, t the pacing and the timing isn't exactly what we would expect. And then, uh, um, you know, those those because it's higher up on the chromatic, um, you got to get those tones real clean and clear and pretty. And uh, uh, you can make short work of it by just switching to a G harmonica. So grab those and let's if you have one. By the way, not now. I, I I make no money from selling harmonicas <laughs> oh that's not true I, once in a while i make it make five bucks when i sell a folk master i think i make a buck and a half i think <laughs> um um and Diane, exactly what Diane said. Man, that's just a little too high for my ears. But get yourself a chromatic, right? And get yourself a G harmonica um, or even lower. There's low harmonics. You'll see them there listed as low G, or I'm sorry, low F, low D, low E. There's even a low C. Um, my lowest one is a low F, which is the highest of the lows. But uh, if you grab a G, it's the lowest of the regular harmonicas. And let's just play through it one time if you've got a G harmonica. And if you don't just listen you'll see how pleasant it is even though it's, it's just as equally high on this harmonica it's just the whole thing's tuned lower and it, it'll sound uh, a little, little bit easier on your ears one two three pretty right just by lowering the overall pitch from the middle C well we actually on this harmonic it's the high C right we lower it B A G right just lower to four four notes um, four white piano keys <laughs> and um, get a much more um, pleasant tone on your ear overall and then not to not to tell you how to run your social life but every time you know we're getting ready to have people over for dinner again uh we haven't had them over for a while and you're a lovely cook at this point because what else have you had to do uh and you're going to have people over for dinner and as they're getting ready to leave you say wait a minute wait a minute wait 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 i got something i want to i want to do for you and you go grab your g harmonica and you have this song memorized and you give them a little aloha oi as they're leaving leaving the house to go uh yeah. and they will have a fond memory and they will be like hey that sounds really nice why don't you teach me how to play harmonica 
So there you go. That's it. That's what I, that's what you do. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's go grab. So that's your you're you're set for diet diatonic today. Uh, if you don't own a C and a G, try to get that way. I think I think having a G harmonica is a really good chance on those songs that do end up pretty high on the pitch rate. And I don't put them up there on purpose. I put them out there because that's the only place they fit on a harmonica. Believe me uh, when I tell you that I want them to be as low as possible too. Um, and uh, that's but uh, sometimes um, sometimes they'll fit on a diatonic and they just end up higher up on the harmonica as you know and uh, um, that's where the G harmonica comes in or a low F or a low D or low D um, <clears throat> to just give you a little bit more uh, not, just to take those high piercing tones out I still think it's best to learn on the C in those upper notes um, and uh, uh, it um, you got to learn those because that's harder to play, right? And then once you can play it on a C, then you, you, obviously you can play it on a G. Um, Connie says, "What happened to the harmonica keychain sale?" You know, uh, Connie, they they're back ordered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got one in, and then it took forever, and then I got a second one in, and they says, "Yeah, they're back ordered." So I think it has more to do with shipments from China are hard to get in these days. Um, but yeah, I can't get them right now. But so uh, I, I'm going to put in another order here in a couple weeks and see if that the uh, once they're back ordered the way that warehouse works they just cancel the order they don't hold them um and so yeah i'm gonna try to get i'm gonna try to get get them yeah um so pauline says it's very nice in the key of G. yeah it's lovely right and it'd be fine in any of those lower keys it's just a pretty song and and uh um yeah i'll get you i'll get those keychains in just as soon as i can all right let's switch over to chromatic and uh, see how we're playing with that and um and shirts we need to get we, i gotta get a logo for harmonica i don't have a harmonica logo yet we have that girl with the blue hair on the front page as close i out to a logo uh uh i will get us uh some some uh, i don't know how to i i gotta think about how to make a harmonica i have a, a shirt with a, a kind of a cool harmonica cartoon on it but that's not uh, public domain so maybe i'll have to draw something i'll i'll start i'll put some thought in that uh uh connie into having a mammoth garden chromatic mammoth garden harmonica logo and then we can get shirts <laughs> yeah heck yeah right uh chromatic scales let's do let's do our uh, uh, last one of these for a while uh, if i remember right we did one and two yesterday so let's do three and four today d and e flat uh, if you're on guitar it's d and then you slide it up one and it's e flat on here it's full of crazy and then the next one is all different crazy right uh, second that that we need an official harmonica t-shirt we i'm gonna put some thought process toward that <laughs> i'm pretty good at logos i did uh, uh i'm super proud of the rocky mountain ukulele orchestra logo that one i did years and years ago and i was really happy with it and then the denver guitar orchestra one came by and i was like man i worked really hard on that i'm really proud of that one that one you know it's got all kinds of colors you can't just put it on a t-shirt very well uh and then the uh, uh jolly roger ukulele one i'm really proud of too <laughs> <laughs> so I got to I got to put that kind of energy into a, a, a harmonica shirt for us. Um, Mammoth Gardens is too long. Maybe not Mammoth Gardens harmonica. M G H M G M G H. What is it? M M G H? That means something. Miles? Nah, I don't know. I'll figure it out. <laughs> All right, uh, three and four. You guys are crazy today. From the top, one, two, three. Four. Sorry, from measure four, one, two, ready, play.
one is hard. <laughs> I was all over the place on that one. All right, so there's your, there's your, there's the the, the scale of the, the scale of the day. And then again, just to talk in about what we were talking about a little bit earlier, go look at measure one. Go look at measure one. We would normally play this as. <laughs> so on then make yourself you know say all right i can play it at that speed what if i played a little bit faster and that first note's rough right right and then see if you can do it even faster Just talk yourself into after, you know, as your warm up, play it regular, try to get it perfect, and then go through, speed it up a little bit, or speed it up a little bit more, speed it up until you're making all kinds of a mess, right? And then you know, hey, I'm not ready for that speed yet. And I do think that you can do that similar activity on our songs uh, where you can then um, play them faster. Fly Me to the Moon, brand new arrangement. All right, <laughs> looky what you got here. Low chromatic and high chromatic. And so we're gonna play through this twice and you're gonna play both lines, okay? The first time through, I want you to play the top line and I will play the bottom line. So you're gonna play the low harmonica and I will play the high, high harmonica. And then when we get to the end, we'll switch parts and then you will play the high harmonica and I will play the low harmonica okay it'll be fun you know what's gonna happen um, here it's gonna sound like me playing harmonica at your house it's gonna sound octaves you're gonna have uh, we're gonna be split apart we're gonna be playing the same note but an octave apart and it's gonna sound super cool hopefully okay <laughs> you'll let me know because I don't know I will sound the same here I'm gonna play the high harmonica and you're gonna play the low harmonica. So you're playing the top line, I'm playing the bottom line. Ready? Uh, and by the way, when we get down to measure 32, that's when we come back. The second time through, notice you're 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. You're gonna skip that whole line there the second time through. So when we come through the second time through, um, and, uh, you're not going to play 27 through 32. You skip all the way down to the bottom, okay? And it slows down quite a bit at the end, okay? I'm playing high, and you're playing. I'm playing the bottom line. You're playing the top line. When we go, do the turnaround, you switch, okay? From the top, one, two, three, four.
to the top and oh I blew it let me start from the top you're playing the high notes one two ready play How'd that sound at your house? Um, it's a little bit hard to play. Not terrible, right? It's not too bad. Not too many button pushes. <laughs> um, a lot harder to play on the low end of the harmonica than the high end of the harmonica, I think. Um, and then the other question is, did you make the jump right? And as I got to the end of 26, I looked over and I'm like, oh gosh, I got to jump to 33. Hope everybody else remembered. <laughs> so isn't that a fun song? It's really, really pleasant. Um, and I think it's going to sound great uh, after we've played a few times. All right, let's see. Sandy says, question, how come I can't play low notes on my honer but good high notes? And reverse on the swan can play the low notes but trouble with the high notes. I seem to be stuck in the middle. <laughs> I think, Sandy, when you're talking about, hey, man, I'm fighting the low notes, I'm fighting the high notes, I think everybody does, right? And I and I do think it's a little bit harmonica specific. Sometimes um, some harmonicas are just set up better on the low end to be played well. Um, I know on my special twenties that the high notes are actually pretty reliable, um, but on my marine band, oh my gosh, it is so much better on the low notes. Um, and um, I think it depends day to day a little bit for me. Um, some days, man, uh, my high notes are going really nice, and uh, some days not so much so yeah <laughs> um and uh like uh i find that the draws and blows on these very low notes on these chromatics are just the very low notes are you really are working hard not to make it sound like a cow dying in the in the, in the pasture you know bleh. Um, it just doesn't necessarily have a great sound and if i was going to be thinking you know what i'm going to do a presentation with this for, for important people um, i'd want to work a lot on my low notes on here whereas i don't have to worry about those at all on the diatonic but i the high notes are what i worry about over there so yeah it's it's uh it's fun um you know, Pauline says, interesting way to play a duet. I don't know what that sounds like at your house. Hopefully, it sounds kind of cool, <laughs> right? Evelyn says, fun playing a duet. So Evelyn is down. She's into it. Uh, Marcia says, that minus one is a hard note. Yeah, they, they do sound blah, kind of. Uh, Fran says, that was fun. Uh, I'm the reverse of Sandy. Can't play on the owner and can't play low on this one. Yeah, right? So, yeah, I think, guys, just keep playing. What will happen is eventually you can play them all, right? And it's just, and you remember when you first started, you couldn't get a, a single note out of a single hole to save your soul. Now it's not so hard. Um, now, and then Gary says, well, start bending notes. You're like, I can't bend it at all. A few months from now, you'll be bending everything, you know? So it's... Uh, 
I do think that that will be a lifelong project is getting those high notes and the low notes equally reliable on everything. And so um, patience, grasshopper, you will get there. All right. That's my thought. That's my thought. <laughs> I'm still not there either. So uh, I don't spend a lot of time worrying about it either. I'm like, you know what? It's going to happen. It'll happen. Patience. When the universe is ready, it will give me the high notes and the low notes. All right, guys. Have a wonderful day. I stole all of your time today. Um, that's uh, You gave me marching orders to get us a logo together. Um, we will have a slight um, alterations to next week's schedule. And so just, you know, check in the website or check in on the email. And, uh, and then as we proceed forward, uh, we're just going to keep finding new ways to make sure that we are happy playing this instrument and that we're getting better and that you're excited enough to share it with other people and let, let them know what you're doing, too. So um, there we go. It's all set up for ensemble play. Remember that, um, you guitarists and ukulele players, uh, go grab one of them. Even a piano player, they know how to read this stuff, um, and they, they, you know, you can sit and make some music with some other people. So that's really the goal here is to give you a way to sing and without singing, right, and to be part of an ensemble. Uh, and most people that make music like to play like that sound of a harmonica. Most civilians are like, oh God, harmonica. <laughs> they don't know. They just haven't heard good harmonica and that's going to be up to you. All right. Thanks everybody. I'm going to head out. Don, Pauline, uh, Evelyn, Marsha, who else name is? Connie, uh, Diane. Uh, is that most, uh, did I get everybody? I think so. I think that's everybody. Have a wonderful day. If you're not logged in, have a wonderful day as well for you. Pulling the plug. <laughs>